YouTube, what's poppin'? It's your boy CZ Cheeto coming at you with another Dragon Ball Legends video. And if you are lucky enough to get into the closed beta of the first round test, I just wanted to make you a little uh, tips and tricks kind of guide to leveling up your characters and soul boost what they do, equipment, things like that. So, first off, we're gonna talk about experience. So, we're gonna go training. So one of the easiest ways and like this but not the fastest i think it's the fastest way to get levels but it takes a little long is training and as you can see my napa here is training in the plane um if you have training items they you could train other multiple characters with other training items uh, when training items the time does go by faster and what you train because like i know one of the training item weights um instead of being three hours every uh training session it will be 30 minutes so training items are really good um i haven't gotten uh, another training item since i started this game um so yeah that's just a uh relatively easy way to gain experience but you can have to do. another way we get experience is and items is also through adventures so make sure you're always taking doing an adventure see i already did all my adventures there was only two um, I already have people already adventuring and stuff, so yeah, that's another way to get experience and items and Zenny. So that's an, also a good resource because you're gonna need Zenny for so boosting your characters to boost their stats and in certain areas and aspects. So the next thing you can do to get experience is also play PvP. The um, thing is about PvP that I like but also kind of don't like is you're, you're gonna take you a while to look for someone. And me personally, I don't have any friends that uh, were lucky enough to get into the close beta, so I can't really like farm them truly <laughs> and beat them all over and over and over and over. But it's okay. But this is also a good route, and you can also use the medals you earn and go to the exchange shop and you know buy training items, which I'm probably gonna do actually. But I did not think about this. Yeah, so I'm gonna go buy these training items and stuff. You know, off camera and all that. So yeah, you use what you earn from like basically from quest and from you know doing PvP by training oh, items okay. and let's do this. And let's make your character strong. Go. Another good source of XP is doing missions, preferably high level missions. So if you are strong enough, I recommend actually going to the hard mode of, of and first stage of um. Book one, chapter one, the same awakening, because the, it is a little bit not challenging. I'm just gonna say the CPU will actually fight back, and you just gotta be prepared for it. But it's really worth it because you get, if you look at the rewards, you get, you say, first of all, you get get Chrono Crystals for playing these challenges. A, B, you get these um these one star um. These one star like rising souls and these rising souls are used to boost your character in the soul boost So these are really really important uh, drop materials You're gonna need if you want to boost your character and you know attain those really really high combat power levels So yeah, so these are this is a really good stage for that again This stage is not too difficult and you know you could always just skip tickets And let's see what else is a good experience? Uh, and if you're below that level, and you're trying to hunt for experience, I say I recommend going to Lost Memories, uh, Book One, uh, Chapter Four, because it's the highest level enemies, which means I guess you get the highest amount of XP, and also you get the um, you get uh, I'll just show you, and then the rewards you get um, you get the purple, yellow red and another type of purple um rising soul and what these do uh these are moving for the characters like krillin and shallot because shallot uses the red and also for goku or some other um yellow character so this is a really important stage because you know and plus shallot now his cap has been extended to 400, so we kind of want to level up Shadow and make Shadow as strong as possible. He's going to be carrying you and your team throughout, you know, the events and stuff, especially the bad event and through the story. 
Because if you look at the rabbits again, the, start, the starting like level you have to be is 42k. Then on track two is 64k. So you're gonna want to get those levels up and the souls boost up as well. Get your character as strong as possible. I just recently got a 14, so I'm just gonna work. As you can see, like as soon as I level up like, Kyle and um, Nappa to like. At least level like 80 or so, 70, 80 or so. They'll be probably strong enough to take the song. I'll make another video on that. Um, yeah. So another recommendation for levels, I recommend farming um, chapter one of um, Rallies because he drops these, he drops you equipment that you can put on your characters, which is another thing you didn't get strong in. And also it gives you these one star and two star rising soul reds which are also very useful for Shallot, and it's also useful to um, upgrade your um, equipment too. So, again, you have options. You can farm whatever you like and, you know, do what you can do with your team. But, um, yeah, this is just my recommendations, and this is how I got to where I am so quickly, even though I could not play the game as much as I want to. <sighs> but I digress, right? So, um... Now we're going to talk about getting stronger. Now, I know I've been saying from the jump about Soul Boost and what that is and what it does, but let's actually get into it. So we're going to go to characters, and we're going to talk about Soul Boost. Now we're going to go to Shallot, because Shallot has a lot of uh, his potential done. See, now I am a class 2 um, Shallot. So, how do I did that? Well, once you um, go here in the Soul Boost uh, menu, and you unlock 10 nodes, you are um, you can class up, which you can open up another section of nodes you can fill Let's out to make yourself oh, even oh, more strong. And like, just to take, like, I'll show you. Yeah. See, in his first, and there's another thing I want to bring up. In his first uh, little branch of tree. He only gains um, stats based on like his like his attribute striking. So, oh, yeah, basically his attribute. So because he is like a very like physical fighter guy, same. His rising um his rising souls are red. Like, as you can see throughout this entire trip. So that's why I say um, farming Raditz is a good idea. Because you want to get shot as strong as possible. And yeah, I'm not saying, you know, put all your investment time into Charlotte. I'm just saying, make him strong enough to where if your other characters are lacking, you will rely on him. So I'm just going to show you. And if you didn't know, quick tip as well. You can select multiple of these um, nodes if you have the Rising Souls for them as you can see. So I can only do two right now. But I'm just going to show you one on video just to show you how it is. And now I just gain some stats. And if I go to my second node over here, I'm going to go for... Hmm. It's like defense and stuff. And this is more offense. It's like strike up top and it's um, blast at the bottom. So I'm gonna go blast actually. And now in this and the section two, what I just noticed is that his uh, rising soul requirements change. So you're gonna need the whole cast of um, orbs, I mean rising souls, to do, you know, Let's do this. to actually start unlocking the potential of the character. Um, yeah, but that's if you're annoyed there, um, you get pretty significant boost. I should go back and show you guys. So, as a tip, I would recommend is go for your critical bonuses. Critical bonus here, and you have critical bonus here. And then these energy ones as well are also very important. Once I get the rising soul form, I will unlock them. So I just kind of want to fill up this area heat like to the left the top left the full top left and the full top right is what i'm really focused on with my characters so i feel like that starter pack uh distribution of uh stats 
it would be enough for me to uh, you know progress to the next level uh, of this game and you know take on the rat as a game, take on hard mode chapter two of the sand awakens things of that nature okay so let's bring on the next thing that can also boost your character and as well as uh make you stronger is we're gonna go to equipment so you can equip equipment and so these equipment uh slots are your equipped with any of your own characters i got these all from the reddit event um there we go let's go to change equipment so everyone's equipped with a uh piece of equipment I gave shout out the Raditz one because it gives blast attack, training. and I gave everyone else uh, a blast defense uh, item because that's what this item does. It gives you energy up and yeah, blast defense up. So, and if you upgrade them, you unlock more stats. See, uh, this is upgraded. I have two um, slots of um, a boost I can get from the equipment. So these are also little bit um, little uh, tricks you can do to make yourself just that tad bit stronger. If you're like like me when I was, uh, if you guys saw my videos, I highly recommend checking them out because you can see through my frustrations and my struggles. You know how I trialed and errored and how I got to where I am. You can see that I was always like a few thousand off, or just my level, or like this. a few hundred Full off. Power. Equipment will get you to, to where you're. Then recommended target power. Alright. You can also upgrade equipment. And to do that, I'm just gonna go to upgrade equipment. And it costs um rising souls to upgrade. So that's why I'm saying rising souls is so important. And really with the items you have like now, like Raditz, he takes um purple rising soul and green rising soul. But the majority of what I have are these uh, bronze ones of Goku, right, and these take serious. Red Rising Soul. So I, I that's why I say re I recommend farming as much as you can out of Hard Mode Level One of the Sand Awakens or Normal Mode Chapter One of the Raditz Attack Event. They're really good sources of XP, Rising Soul, and you can get equipment from. Exclusively from the Raditz event. Okay. I think that's everything I know so far just by playing the game. I mean, also, you can also summon for more characters. For better characters. That's true. Summoning and limit breaking your characters is another way of making them stronger. Um, yeah. Um, I was thinking about summoning right now just to show you guys, but... Now, nah, I'm going to save that for a multi sum. I'm going to save up enough Chrono Crystals for that. And if I can't, I'm just going to summon when I can. So that'll probably be toward the end of the beta time when I'll do it. Not towards the end, but probably like later today. Because um, I got to go to work today. <laughs> so I won't be back home for a while. So I just wanted to wake up early and grind up some videos for you guys. All right, so I'm done rambling. Um, thank you all for watching this. Um, if you like the video, please put a like down below. Subscribe for more Dragon Ball Dragon Ball